The James Cox Fellowship um, was established by the ATS Graham Foundation to provide young surgeons with a really immersive experience in atrial fibrillation surgery. It's unique in that it provides the applicants with a 30-day experience um, under the tutelage of a recognized expert at the host institution. And the reason it is set up at that length in that is that it's very important for surgeons not just to understand the technical aspects of surgery, but to understand basic electrophysiology of the arrhythmia, to understand the various treatment options, and then also to become very familiar with the post-operative care of these patients, which is quite different from other types of cardiac surgery. It addresses what many feel to be um, a shortcoming of some of the training programs in that many people finishing uh, their training in cardiothoracic surgery have not had a very intensive uh, exposure to the surgical treatment of atrial fibrillation. That's um, a problem in the fact that atrial fibrillation is such a common arrhythmia, common both in the general population, but also common in patients referred for cardiac surgery. The fellowship honors Dr. Cox and his legacy, and I think um, that it is really a unique experience for surgeons who want to learn how to uh, appropriately treat patients with atrial fibrillation. The reason that surgeons need to be very familiar with the treatment of atrial fibrillation is that a significant percentage of patients who get referred for cardiac surgery for other reasons have atrial fibrillation. And in my opinion, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to really treat the atrial fibrillation. Therefore, I think it's imperative that surgeons understand how to treat atrial fibrillation appropriately and then how to follow those patients and manage those patients um, longitudinally. So it's a great opportunity for surgeons and I think uh, a really tremendous opportunity to have an impact on um, a patient's quality of life and, as I said, their length of life.